This is a typical six-foot fume hood in a laboratory in an incubator. You can see that it is mounted on the casework up against the wall of the lab and that on top this particular fume hood is vented into a separate air handling system in the building which is separate from the main heating, ventilating, air conditioning system. That particular duct work that vents this hood feeds in to a main lateral system which runs along the entire length of the incubator and then goes up to the top of the building where there are twin fans that vent the entire network of fume hoods in the incubator. In this particular incubator's case there are a total of 18 hoods in the building. These hoods can either be installed when the incubator is initially constructed or more typically they are installed on the fly as labs are fitted out and companies move into the incubator one by one and you know which companies want a hood which companies do not and so you may be in the process of fitting out labs and installing these hoods over several years. Each hood has a sash window which is normally put at a predetermined height. The hoods have to be calibrated probably no longer than a year would go by uh, and the what is called the face velocity of the fume hood must be calibrated and be in a certain minimum range and not over a certain maximum amount. Most hoods have to be installed so that there is a gas, a vacuum, and a cold water supply. This vacuum shows an out of, order, out of order tag on it. The reason for that is the vacuum system for the entire building is down for maintenance. These hoods can cost anywhere from five to eight thousand dollars depending on upon whether or not it's a six foot to an eight hood eight foot hood and the installation cost can run to be another five to ten thousand dollars so a completely installed hood which will require an electrician a sheeting a contractor a plumber so it'll require several trades. It may cost anywhere from eight to twelve thousand dollars to get the thing installed.